Welcome to Pressure Crisp, everybody. My name is Lisa, and today we're using the oven again. Actually, I just used it. I just made brownies. I'm so excited about this. No, I'm really liking. <clears throat> I'm really liking this oven. We're gonna make a roast today. It's a round rump roast, about 4.67 pounds. I went out to the yard. Uh, we already had our frost, but the rosemary and thyme did snip some of that. I have that right behind me. Look at this. Beautiful. I'm just not going to deviate from my usual, uh, it's, a, it's like a wet rub that I put on these roasts. I'm going to do the same old thing, but the same old thing is really, really good. So I'm not going to deviate from that. So yeah, let's just get started. Come on over. Let's go. Yeah. I'm using rosemary and thyme. I just picked this in the yard. I'm just going to take it off. Oh, smells so good. I'm going to go heavy on the rosemary today. I really, really like rosemary. And this just might be the last hurrah because, uh, unfortunately, winter is upon us. Now, that meat hasn't been out for that long. Maybe it's been out for like 15 minutes. I was hoping to take it out a bit longer, but I'm just going to take the time off. And you guys don't want to see me do this, so I'm going to do this off camera. You're going to see me. I save these sticks because I actually save these for skewers sometimes, like with chicken. Ah, oh, smells so good, so good. So what I'm gonna do with this lovely, lovely, fresh rosemary and thyme from the backyard, we're just gonna give it a, a chop. So all I'm gonna do is just pick this up with the knife, try not to spill it. And yeah, this is getting dry. I can tell by looking at it. So that's a good amount right there. And it's a good size roast. I didn't never did. I didn't show you the roast. There it is, right there. To this, I'm gonna go ahead and add. I'm cheating today. I picked up some of this garlic in the jar. And let's see, how much garlic do you want? I'm just eyeballing this. I'll try to leave you guys a recipe down below, but sometimes it's hard. Oh, and I'm using a stone ground Dijon mustard. Just want a little bit of that. Maybe like a tablespoon to a tablespoon and a half. We're going for a little bit more mustard flavor, and I have to clean that now. And today, I'm going to follow the rules and use avocado oil. But usually, I just use olive oil. Probably, let's see. We're just going to gauge this. That's probably like three to four tablespoons of oil. Just going to see how this looks. We're going to add a little bit more oil. Oh, this is going to be fabulous. Oh, smell that. Mm. And we're also going to go ahead and add some black pepper. Probably like a half a teaspoon to one teaspoon. And we're going to add some kosher salt. Probably like one and one half teaspoons. Let's give that a... All right, so there's our wet rub. That is all set to go. We're going to give this, this meat a rub down. It's a sizable piece of meat. You got a nice fat cap right here. I'm going to leave that on. You got a hole right there. So with the roast, I'm actually going to put the thermometer, the meter thermometer in through here. So it goes straight in. And just like any other roast, you're going to have some well done sections, probably like here, but you can give it to the person that likes well done or the doggies downstairs will have a nice little snack. So what we're going to do is you're just going to take some of that wet rub. So I'm going to take that, just take it in your hands. You can put gloves on if you want. I'm not going to. And another thing you can do too, you can actually put this rub on and just leave, you can leave it in the fridge overnight. I mean, just leave it so it can like marinate just a bit. And that'll be good too. But of course, me being me, I wait to the last minute. And you can add more mustard if you want, like a more mustard, mustardy taste. Oh, this is going to be delicious. And you want to get this rub on all sides. Just like that. Oh, you're going to be beautiful. Yes, you are. And this is just easy, guys. It's just super easy. Now, if you want to cook potatoes with this, I am going to gauge because I haven't done a roast in the oven yet. And what I do a lot of times, I um, will do items singly. And then I will 
combine things once I figure out the times. So I have decided what we're doing. This is what we're going to do. We're going to copy the prime rib roast with yellow baby, baby potatoes. I'm not doing the potatoes part. I'm just doing the roast. But we're going to copy exactly how that is cooked. So it says we're going to take this rack. Oh, that's still hot from the brownies. Ah! We're going to place it on number one. And there's numbers right here. One, two, three, and four. That's number one. We're going to go ahead and turn it on. We're going to select whole roast. We're going to take the temperature. Temp, temp, temp. We're going up to 450. 450. Time, we're going to set the time for 25 minutes. This jumps down fast. I like that. And this is going to preheat pretty quick because it's still warm because I just got done making something. Let's see what happens. Let me press start. All right, cool. It's preheating. So you guys can see this. I forgot to do it. I'm going to put the roast on the roasting rack. You have the sheet pan with the roasting rack in there. The fat cap is going to be up. Okay, once again, I almost forgot. We are using the meter app today, so I'm just going to put it in the center as best you can. That's pretty good right there. All right, so we're going to add this. <laughs> and close it. What I'm going to do with the time, I'm just going to bump it back up to 25 minutes. So it's going to cook for 25 minutes at 450 degrees on rack level number one, which is the bottom. Go ahead and set up the cook time. Tap to set up cook. I want to make sure you guys can see this. We're going to do beef. We're going to choose roast. And we're going to choose, let's just choose our rump roast. We want it, we're going to choose, it's, my, it's for my father, so we're going to have to make it the way he likes it. So we're actually going to choose rare, which is 125 degrees. And we're going to start the cook. So right now the internal temperature is 45, the target's 125, and the ambient, and we lost the connection. And it's 150 degrees. We have three seconds left. Now what it says to do is, all right, we're still on whole roast. We're going to take the temp down to 250. Actually, don't do that it pops down lovely oops 250 and the time let's increase it to what's it say one hour oops way too far oh I do like how quick this is though and we're gonna hit start do you guys see the color the fat cap is beautiful gorgeous yeah, this is going to be a nice rump roast. I just want you guys to see this. We have 42 seconds left on the clock. And the meter app says we have two minutes remaining. Let me just go up one more minute. It says remove from the heat. The internal temperature is 112. The target is 125. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to let that time run down. And we're going to take that out. And then we're going to let the, re the meat rest. And then we'll do that taste test. But I want you to see that is... Beautiful. There it goes. Oh, look at that. This is beautiful. I mean, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Time for the taste test. I know, I know, I already had a piece. I can't help it. It was so good. Look at this. Oh, perfect. All right, time for that taste test. You already tell on my face. Um, I got this roast on sale. I think it was like three ninety nine a pound. So I think it cost me fifteen dollars. This roast is so worth that fifteen bucks. Um. It's super good. The, uh, the rub on the outside is great. This, the fat crisp up beautifully. Yeah, I like this oven. So thank you so much for watching and uh, stay tuned for more videos. Thanks guys.